All right, so the nice thing about setting up a stage next to your assets is you can always check where you are. And I am now building the next frame. And the only thing I have left to do for the next frame is to move the character's body a little bit. And so I'm going to puppet warp it. Lock it in place. And now the creature just got released, so it's feeling more relaxed. So I'm going to let it droop a little. And I think I've already moved the pizza, but I can always check that by checking my stage. Yes, indeed. Very good. Okay. So now I want to bring it over. So how do I do it? So Josh, you can follow along with me once you have it set up on your, on your assets. What you do is you layer, flatten image. Then you say, okay. Then you select all. You go to select all or command A. Then you want to go to edit, copy, command C. Then you click right before you flatten the image in your history. Whatever step was before flatten your image so you get your layers back. Then you click on your stage, your new file, and you go to edit, paste, which is command V. Good job. So then you go back to your assets and you do it all over again for the next frame. So for my next frame, I'm going to put this head back. But then first I'm going to move this hand out of there. Oop, not all the way up. Ah. So I want it maybe like right there. Okay, now I want this head back in its original position. And it would be nice if I can just get the body back in its original position too. Just to save on having to reanimate stuff. That might be a bit of a bit too much. Yeah, it's a little bit too much movement. So instead I'll just go backwards using the existing assets I have. You too. We'll skip down to here. And then I gotta put a head on there. So I'm gonna duplicate that head and then move it down. Okay, now I gotta move the pizza. And in one more minute, I'm going to get this. I only have one minute left. I'm going to get this next frame put in, I hope. So, come on, there we go. So it goes from this now to this. Yes, and the pizza has moved down. Hopefully it hasn't moved down too much. <laughs> no, it looks about right. Okay, so how do I bring it all over? I, and you can do it again with me, Josh, but I'm going to go pretty fast this time. I'm going to say layer, flatten image, say okay, select all, edit, copy, click before I flatten the image, move to my stage, and edit, paste. And I'm, I'm available in lab hours and happy to help you guys with this until you can figure out your workflow and get used to it. And I'm going to try out my animation. I'm going to run a quick test. I'm going to save it first. I'm going to go to timeline. I'm going to 
flatten frames or make frames from layers, right? I'm going to set them all to be 0.3 seconds. And then I'm going to play them through. And I'm looking that the character animation makes sense. And I'm making sure that the movement of the pizza sun makes sense. And it kind of does. I might do that last frame a little bit differently where I move the pizza a little bit to the left. But so far, so good. So now that it's shown me that, I can trash these frames, close the, the timeline, and just save my work. And I'm just going to change this frame just a little bit. It's going to move the pizza a little bit this way because that's the trajectory I've got going on. It's at a slight diagonal. But that's it. All right. So I'm going to resave this one. Is everything else I like? And replace that frame. So it's just like cutting your film and going a different way with it. All right, next time I get to figure out how to finish it off and then do a refined storyboard. But I've shown my transformation. I've done the hard work. I just want to make sure on my assets that I go before I flatten the image, before I save it. And now I can, if I want to, I can run a test animation, make frames from layers, set them to 0.3. We'll be going over this. I don't have a finished GIF animation yet, but if I wanted to save it, I'll show you how to do that. Because really, this does fulfill all the requirements of the assignment. It just doesn't set to reset in a nice way, like that pizza is hovering in the middle of the sky. So what I would do here is then say File, and Export, Save for Web Legacy. This is how you get to the old style GIF animation controls. I'm going to keep its resolution the same. I'm going to keep all the defaults, except I like to do the quality of bicubic smoother. And then you just say save. It will keep your file name, but it will save it as a GIF file. And GIF files can only be played through web browsers. So there it is. And if I open it with Safari, it's the only thing I use Safari for. I can see the animation in real time. At screen resolution. So if you zoom in, you can see that it's pretty limited. It's actually only 256 pixels, pixel colors that are used. But for screen resolution, that's just fine. All right. Very nice. We will continue that next class.